Julie, you shared a great story about Carol Burnett and a prank. So can you tell everyone what that was? I think the prank you must be referring to, it, it will take too long to go into big detail, but uh, Carol and I were waiting for our friend Mike Nichols to arrive at a benefit that we were both doing. Um, we decided as the evening got later and later and he didn't show, we decided to go down the hall of the hotel and meet him at the elevator. Uh, it was Lyndon Johnson's inaugural, so the hotel was pretty packed, but at that hour it was quite quiet. And uh, we uh, decided to sit on a sofa in front of the elevators and wait for Mike. Carol and I, and I swear I don't remember which one of us decided, that we would do something silly uh, when Mike got out of the elevator. So one of us said, well, let's be kissing or something. So God, I, I swung her across my lap, the big embrace, and uh, the elevator went ping, and we thought it must be Mike, and the doors opened, and that elevator was simply packed with Secret Service men. And, oh, my God, it went on and on. The elevator kept going ping, and there was always somebody coming out of it. Eventually, a lady got out. Uh, Carol swears it was Lady Bird. Johnson, the lady went down the hall and realized that it might be us. And she came back. By this time, Carol was laughing so hard that she went round the back of the sofa we were sitting on because we both had tears running down our faces at being so silly. And the lady came and looked over the back of the sofa and said, excuse me, uh, are you Carol Burnett? And immediately Carol <laughs> said, yes, and this is my friend Mary Poppins, she said. <laughs> so it was a great moment, it really was. Oh my gosh, I love, I love that story. And reading that about people, you know, we love you. So we love those inside stories and that's why it's so cool, Emma, that you pulled those out.